Hello everybody. In Cuba, my name is David Negro, the black, that's what they call me, but my name is David Bradish. Uh, I love Clavis and I'm really experimenting, uh, experimenting with them now in my new band, uh, Chalipso. Uh, we're trying my new form of music, but today we're talking about Clavis. There are basically three, which you guys kind of know, the uh, song clave, which is off the one, doom, what, no, excuse, yeah, bam, 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 bam. that's one. Then you got the, the rumba clave, which is on the one, and it starts with the two of the three later. Bam, bam, and one. Then you got the bossa nova clave, which not many people use. It is a clave, and that one is it starts off on the three, and then the two come at the end. But there's a little delay on that last ka un ka. Uh, the standard with the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I want to talk about uh, a new clave that just came to me two days ago. Uh, I'm calling it the Negro Cuatro. The reason is Cuatro means four. And the other three clavies have five notes. But the Negro Cuatro only have four. And yet, it's still a clave because it fits into the defined measure where all the clavies play through one complete phrase. So does my Negro Cuatro. Exactly the same. But it only uses four notes. But it still swings. And the reason it still swings is with all the clavies they have this polyrhythmic uh, thing going on that hits with the music in relation to the bass. Latin music's all about polyrhythmics. Another interesting thing which I discovered, you can switch them, your claves. You never hear it in Cuba, but I do it with my band. We might be starting off a song and we're playing song clave and then we go into a rumba clave and then we go into a bossa nova clave and now we'll go into the, the negro cuatro clave. And all four claves, all four, including the negro, you can reverse the phrasing. That's right. You don't have to play them the way that they, you can, they swing just as well reverse. And I'll prove it. I'm going to play in reverse. We know the song clave. One, one, two. Well, now I'll take the three at the end and put them in the beginning. In relation to the music, they will come out different depending where you hit it in the song. Same thing with the, with the uh, rumba clave. Now, same with bossa nova, the regular way. Reversing it. So what that means is there are actually eight ways that you can play the clave. Now that's as far as I've gotten with the clave. Maybe there's somebody who knows more about it than me, but those clave sit in my heart when I'm singing, when I'm playing. I'm going to play a little of the, just so you get an idea how the, 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 the Negro Cuatro clave sounds. One of the tunes my band is doing now called Nature Go. I'll just play it and I'm going to play that clave and let you see. If, I'll switch a little bit. I'll go into song clave in this, but you'll hear that the, the, the Negro Quattro most. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> Anyway, that's my 
cloudy information for you. Uh, I hope you pay attention now. I'll be posting some videos from my new man. Uh, and if so, uh, and all that material in a new way. I've taken the modulos out of the, the piano parts and transferred them to guitar parts. One place cloudy, and one place is sort of a tuno. Give it that pep and these. Hope you have a nice day.